Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, so if you didn't catch our hot messy topics with Kim from Bravo Breaking News, then definitely go be a part of that replay crew because I thought that that was a great one, but we're not really back to talk about that. No, no, we're back to talk about the fact that um, there is a former Vanderpump Rules star who is now joining the long list of reality TV stars who are suing. And on top of that, Joe is getting a little bit shady, which it looks like she's learning how to play the Vanderpump Rules game. So before we jump in, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in. All right, guys, so I didn't know exactly where I wanted to start, but I think this is a good point. So thank you to Reality Blurb. It looks like Joe Winberg took to her Instagram story earlier this week to react to Katie Maloney's appearance at the iHeartRadio Music Awards on Monday night. Now, after Katie attended the event with her Vanderpump Rules co-star and friend Dana Cathan, and Raquel Levis was also spotted solo at the award show, Tom Schwartz's former flame shared her thoughts on their looks, shading Katie and Dana and applauding Raquel. Along with the screenshot of a Life and Style article in which Katie, who was wearing an off-the-shoulder sequin dress and Dana dressed in a spaghetti strap black dress, were labeled as some of the worst dressed attendees, Joe included a link that said Raquel had sizzled. And after Joe posted the diss, Raquel shared it on her own page, letting her fans and followers know that she agreed with Joe's assessment. A portion of Joe's story in Raquel's repost, obviously, um, they got flooded and they went everywhere. Mm. Now, meanwhile, also in Joe's post, Raquel was seen in a black corseted look. And she said, wow, corsets for days. Raquel, I need a corset. You rock them is what Joe said. So Joe was obviously all about Raquel, which you guys know too, just to be clear. Back when Raquel was hooking up with Tom Sandoval, Joe was included on that. So she would go on double dates with Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval and Raquel to make it look a little less suspect so they could go out in public. So then everybody thought that they were being there for Tom and Joe when actually Tom and Joe were being there for Tom and Raquel. Try to keep up because I feel like this is a cluster F, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Now, as Vanderpump Rules fans may know, Joe has been under fire on recent episodes of the show due to her relationship with Tom Schwartz and her former closeness to both Katie, his ex-wife, and Kristen Doty, who has accused Joe of ghosting her when she began sleeping with Tom. Kristen has even accused Joe of using her to get on Vanderpump Rules. Now, as for Raquel, she has had issues with Katie in the past as well, obviously after the kiss in Mexico. Um, but Raquel reportedly became close with Joe. So I don't think that Raquel is really thinking about Katie in this moment. I don't think that she cares. But before we end up moving on to this whole lawsuit situation that's happening, I wanted to give you some um, relief. So thank you to Byway Hello Drama. Lala Kent is talking about a rumor that she and Randall tore into someone on a movie set, but listen to it for yourself. Another rumor that I heard about myself over the weekend. Oh, from a new Amber. one. <gasps> Okay. Okay. Amber, who is who is the mother of my child's half sisters. Right. Um, so she calls me and she's like, I ran into this woman. She's the sister of this other girl. And I'm not gonna mention their names because I don't even want to draw attention to it, but it was wild. So this girl was in the pageant game. It is not Rachel Levis. Okay. Okay. She was like real pageant girl, like won a title. Got a it. big one. Okay. And she <laughs> claims that there was a time that me and my ex, this girl, we we had a tiny bit of a friendship. We're going to name the sister. Um, We'll name the sister Caitlin. And we'll name the girl who's claiming that this happened, Ashley. Okay. So Caitlin's talking to Amber and she's like, oh, you know, Lala? She's like, my sister, Ashley was like tore into by Lala and your ex. It was really bad. Like my sister refuses to speak to Lala anymore. And we share a mutual friend. We'll name her Sarah. I've talked to Sarah. 
And she's like, Ashley doesn't want to talk to you because you unfollowed her on Instagram. And I was like, that tracks for this bitch. That definitely tracks. Okay, this is what she's claiming happened. That we were on a set of a movie and I lost my mind on her. And my ex also lost his mind on her. This is what actually happened. I'm on the set of a movie. I'm with Sarah's ex that ended very badly. Okay? Ashley starts texting everyone on the film, all the actors, saying, don't film with him. We're, we're filming a fucking movie. Yeah. Bef- and it was booked before we even knew that this guy was kind of a piece of shit. Yeah. So I'm in the trailer with another actress and she's like, what are you going to do? Are you being blown up by Ashley? And I was like, this is wild. So of course I tell my ex, I'm like, yo, she's making people a little uncomfortable to film with this guy. This guy gets wind that Ashley's doing this on behalf of her friend. I totally understand. So I'm, I can't speak for what my ex said to her, but she claims I lost my mind on her and she's going around telling people this. And I think her name carries some water. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, if you know me from Vanderpump Rules, you're going to be like, that tracks that Lala would lose her mind on you. But I'm like, I've heard that she's a little insane. Yeah. She's fucking insane. <laughs> she's I never fucking lost insane. my mind on her. Did I you say anything? Her. No, I didn't say on anything. Set? Nothing. And Who? she's saying, you didn't go up to her on set and we're like, Chill. She wasn't there. Oh. Okay. Well, I like how she says that tracks, but also Sarah, Ashley, that was a little bit too much for me. But I thought it was some comedic relief. Now, with that, we have to get into the former Vanderpump Rules star who is now opening a lawsuit. This one threw me for a loop just a little bit. I don't know how much of this you guys have seen. But ex-Vanderpump Rules star Faith Stowers is suing Bravo for alleged discrimination years after accusations against Stassi Schroeder and Kristen Doty. Now, I saw where a lot of people are automatically wondering why would she be suing now? And well, maybe RadarOnline.com, maybe they have the information. ex Pump Rule star Fate Stowers slapped Bravo and NBC Universal with a bombshell lawsuit over alleged discrimination and retaliation. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, Stowers powerhouse lawyers Mark Garagos and Brian Friedman said, this case concerns Faith Stowers, a former cast member on Bravo's popular reality TV show, Vanderpump Rules, who appeared on 51 episodes as the show's only Black cast member, before being driven out by a vicious campaign of racist harassment and retaliation. Now, Stowers was recruited by the show by Lisa Vanderpump to add more color to the cast is what the lawsuit said. Although she had never set out to be a reality TV star, Faith was excited by the opportunity and accepted the offer. She was paid a total of $5,000 for her first season. Very quickly, however, Faith realized that she was getting more than she bargained for. She was subjected to racism, sexual harassment, and physical assault in her first season. Faith claimed after she reported the mistreatment to NBC and show producers, she was warned in no uncertain terms to keep quiet and play nice. Driven by concern for her career and fear about how she might otherwise be portrayed on air, she reluctantly did so, only to to discover that she had been nominally demoted to an unpaid volunteer without any actual change in her employment status. So over time, her treatment got even worse. Many cast members embarked on an overly racist social media harassment campaign, accusing her of going AWOL from the military, false, of being a thief, false, and being a career criminal wanted by the LAPD, false, is what the lawsuit said. NBC and producers, which tightly control the cast's public statements and messaging, condoned, ratified, and amplified those vicious lies, causing untold harm to Faith's mental health and reputation. And to make matters worse, NBC threatened her with legal action when she attempted to speak out. So Faith said in the wake of George Floyd's murder and social uh, protests, producers belatedly terminated her or terminated several cast members for behavior that they had long known about. And at no point did they ever reach out to Faith herself. At the time, Stassi and Kristen were fired over the accusations concerning Faith. And in her lawsuit, Faith said, Now that the racial reckoning of 2020 has receded, NBC and show producers have reverted to their old ways. A Vanderpump Rules spinoff entitled The Valley debuted in March 2024, uh, starting a who's who of the 2020 chopping block. Kristen was 
brought back, obviously. And Fate's lawyers, Mark Yergos and Brian Friedman, told Radar Online, NBC and Evolution clearly believe that workplace safety rules, employment laws, and basic decency do not apply to those in reality TV. Vicious assaults, racist harassment, and impugning the service of veterans were apparently acceptable to NBC and Evolution for the sake of ratings. Faith did not know what kind of cesspool she had found herself in and reported this unlawful behavior to her superiors. In response, she was demoted to volunteer and stripped of her already meager compensation. Okay, guys. I want to hear, honestly, if I'm sitting here trying to pick this apart, a lot of people are going to say, why is Faith coming out and saying this now? I didn't realize she was on 50 plus episodes. Um, but then again... I totally forgot how many episodes there's been. There's been a lot of episodes of Vanderpump Rules. Like, think about it. Season 11. Holy shit. This has been around for a long time. Okay. I want to hear what you guys think. What are your thoughts, especially about this coming out these many years later? Maybe she didn't know who to contact at the time. Maybe she was like, okay, I'm going to reach out to them because they're already doing this. I don't know. Go ahead, pop off in the comments, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Love you guys.